Okay, uh, for this video, I wanted to talk about the Beirut explosion because I just found it interesting when it happened. Uh, so, the explosion itself resulted from the detonation of tons of ammonium nitrate, a combustible chemical compound commonly used in agriculture as a high nitrate fertilizer but which can also be used to manufacture explosives. Following decades of government mismanagement and corruption at Beirut's port on August 4th, 2020, one of the largest non-nuclear explosions in history pulverized the port and damaged over half the city. The explosion resulted from the detonation of tons of ammonium nitrate, a combustible chemical commonly used in agriculture as a high nitrate fertilizer but which can also be used to manufacture explosives the cargo of ammonium nitrate has entered beirut's port on a mold moldovan flagged ship the ro the ro sus in november 2013 and has been offloaded into hangar 12 in beirut's port on october 23rd and 24th 2014. So, I wanted to talk about that because um, it, it seems like no one else wants to, you know, discuss it anymore, but I just think it's pretty weird that an entire government can get away with killing millions of people like that. Um, and... In retrospect, I do think it's a point of interest for me because that was more of the eventful things that happened this year aside from Russia and Ukraine. And just like the way it happened, uh, you see, I saw a video of like a person in a boat and they were like, a couple miles away from the explosion but they could still see the shock waves from everything afterwards and i don't know uh it's a good thing that that kind of stuff doesn't happen here on a daily basis though so we should be grateful about that and People in that country are still feeling the economic and social ramifications, and the entire country is uh, left in the dust pretty much because the world isn't going to end up helping them. If they did, they would have wanted to do that already, and they haven't. Uh, and I mostly wanted to make this video just as an informative source of information for anyone else who is curious about it and I it was a more shocking current event uh, because it's still ongoing I think which is pretty crazy to think about but um, yeah at least we just had COVID to deal with and not all that nonsense so Hopefully you'll enjoy your new story of the day.